All right, YouTube. Um, I know this is kind of a different video because I'm in vlogging style, kind of you know, in front of the camera. But um, it's gonna be a quick video. Of this um, a few while back, I um, if you guys been subscriber to me for a while, um, I made a video of destroying like a old horse barn, and um, that has since been removed. And we're gonna be. I just started like a new kind of project here. Um, we're gonna be building a building here. Uh, it's gonna be like a new shop building for us. And um, I usually work at my shop, my shop, other shops over there. That's where I usually work at. Maybe we'll go over there and check it out um, before we do this or after. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what what what's been going on, what it's gonna look like, and uh, sort of what what's happened up to this point. So grab you guys here all right so the barn used to sit right here and uh, it was a 40 by 30 horse barn that was uh, kind of deteriorated it um, it needed to be torn down it was time it was really old um, it's it served its time um, you know the horses chewed through a lot termites got to and whatnot but uh, I'll put a link to the video that I had um, uh, destroying it into this uh, description but uh, right now this is um, this is what we have going on right now um, they poured concrete for our new building new buildings gonna be a 30 by 40 also or uh, 40 by 30 um, 40 long 30 uh, width and um, it's gonna be a commercial building a little bit different than the other barn style we had before um, this one's going to be steel insulated um, concrete floor like this. The other one was uh, um, gravel and uh, dirt and uh, wood chip. This one's going to be uh, all concrete. As you can see, it's been poured. This is uh, 28 yards of concrete this took. Um, you can see where the beams are going to be put in. Like I said, it's going to be steel. From what I know, it's going to be like a tan and crimson color. And uh, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's, it's, I'm gonna try to make more videos of the progress. I sort of missed the uh, concrete pouring myself because I'm in college, so I'm not home a lot. But uh, as you can see, uh, this hen took quite a bit of concrete, 28 yards to be exact. And uh, to make it level, this side had to be up really high. And uh, there's gonna be three doors into this place. There's going to be a garage door here. As you can see, we beveled the edge a bit um, when we did this. Uh, it's going to be a great shop to be working in. I think it's going to store like the John Deere, the two John Deeres, the Zero Turn, maybe the trailer. Um, put the word woodworking stuff in here maybe also. Um, but yeah, there's going to be another garage door right here. Um, that's gonna be a rolling door. Um, I think they're just standard size uh, garage doors, nothing too huge like RV style or something. And there's gonna be a man door that follows this right into here. The man door is gonna be right in line with this sidewalk right here. Uh, got water out here. Probably not gonna feed water into the building. Um, and we're gonna put uh, I think 220 out here. Um, Right now, the only thing that runs out here is a uh, little 30 amp that comes off my house all the way over there, and uh, that's not going to be enough power to uh, power the things we want to use. So we're going to be uh, running a uh, telephone, I mean a power cable. Hopefully I'll be able to get a video of this. We'll probably rent either a ditch witch or a mini excavator to do this. But it's, um, I'll show you here in a second. I get to the front yard over here. Because <laughs> um, to run a new line, we'd have to completely bury a new cable from my house. And uh, that would that would be quite a long ways. But what we're going to do is uh, my power transformer and stuff is right there. We're going to hook it up to that pole right there. And a uh, ditch witch or a mini excavator, a trench through here. <laughs> To uh, install a um, a line more capable of powering some heavier stuff, thicker 
220 um, 200 amp service box because right now 30 amps is definitely not enough for what we're going to be using it for. Uh, we got to somehow trench through the driveway, unfortunately, and uh, get it into the service over here. You know, that, that's definitely the cheaper option instead of running a new line all the way over there because from what I've heard the line that's here this conduit won't be able to um, the line and the conduit won't be able to uh, um, take the power uh, that it draws from what we want to do so uh, yeah so uh, be uh, watchful new videos about this shop here uh, it's gonna be interesting um, it is an Amish built shop so um, it's gonna be nice uh, probably not gonna air condition it um, from what I've heard it uh, stays pretty cool in the summer in these anyway surprisingly I am in the uh, deep south so it does get hot here um, I think heat is not out of the question later on maybe not immediately but uh, heat will most most likely be put in uh, probably a gas um, gas unit but yeah that's uh that's what's been going on here um just uh it'll, it'll be fun when we get the shop going here as you can see the cement trucks have ruined my yard here but uh if you've been a subscriber for a while i'd like to thank you if you guys are new subscribers thank you for recently subscribing going through time i can't really make much videos right now um i know i have a lot of bus videos that i know that understand that can be kind of boring for people if you're not into that stuff, but uh, I'm going to try to divvy it up a bit. Um, just a little quick update. The uh, the 345 is out of service right now. Dealer can't fix it, and we got it back. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. But, uh, yeah, uh, we'll, be, we'll be keeping you updated. And, uh, probably sometime late March I'll have another update video. I can tell you guys what's going on. Maybe actually walk into a building right here. But... Uh, turn it back on to myself. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, thank you guys for being uh, loyal subscribers. Thanks.